Canva is a wonderful graphics tool. I've done tutorial videos about uh, Canva before, but today I specifically want to talk about using Canva to create a beautiful Facebook cover for your um, Facebook page. So it couldn't be simpler. You just go to canva.com, you choose Facebook cover, and then they're gonna give you a lot of really inspiring, beautiful layouts, as you can see over here on the left. You can use these as your inspiration, or maybe you have an idea of exactly how you'd like for yours to look. One thing that is really important, we wanna keep our branding consistent from everything from our website to our social channels, to our business cards um, and so forth. So in keeping with that, um, and, and in, in keeping with our brand colors, um, I like to have all of my stuff available Evernote folder so that I can just grab the colors or graphics or whatever that I need. Fortunately, because I use Canva so much, I know my brand colors by heart. Um, it's C14096 is my pink. And I know, um, and I've already got images uploaded into Canva and I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So um, I like to change my Facebook banner based on the stuff that I have going on in my business, whether it's a promotion or just a call to action, or uh, maybe I'm giving away a freebie because I want people to opt into my email list. So I want to make sure and put some of that information in the banner. But um, so I'm just going to, we're just going to start here and I'm going to build out my Facebook header. So first I'm going to choose a background. And like I said, my color is Okay, and you can see that Canva has left a little spot there. I mean, it's so precise. They even sort of took out that chunk of space where your profile picture normally sits. All right, so I've got this pink, and maybe um, I want to put an image. So I'm going to click Uploads, and normally, I mean, you're seeing all these pictures here because I've uploaded them, but if you've never uploaded to, uh, pictures to Canva, what you would do is you, you would just click this green button and you would find whatever image it is um, that you'd like to get up there, headshots or whatever, <clears throat> and you could upload several at once. So you would just click here and then maybe hit your shift button if you're on a Mac. I don't know what it is on a PC. Go like this and then click choose and it will automatically start uploading that stuff into your Canva. Um, also, it'll keep it there, which I like. So you don't have to keep searching for the same pictures over and over again, which really is, um, is a nice time saver. So I already have pictures in here, like I said, so I'll just grab, here's my logo. And because the J-E-N is in pink, that's not really working out for me. So maybe I'm gonna make my background white and instead of pink. And I'm gonna get this goofy picture of myself. It's goofy, but it's eye-catching, which is really, you know, I'm okay with letting go of vanity if it's going to be effective. Got to keep your eye on the prize, right? So there we go. And what, what do I want to say here? Well, I'm going to go over here to text and I'm going to add text. And one thing that I really love, let me move this maybe down to here. And what I love is that they've got these beautifully pre-formatted um, text box boxes. Most of them are free, um, which reminds me that when we saw those earlier layouts that had preloaded images on them, if you ever download a Canva image um, or anything that is not free, it will only cost you a dollar each time. So that's pretty affordable, especially most stock photography is a lot, uh, costs a lot more than that. And if you, if you need a picture of, let's say, like a hamburger, I'm gonna type in hamburger. I must be hungry. All right, and so look, all this um, all this stuff pops up. And I mean, really, there's there's gonna be, it's just gonna go on and on and on with all of the, the choices. All right, so. And now, as you can see, when I pick an image, it's got like grid lines on it, and that shows you that it's an image that you have to purchase. Once you download it, those grid lines will go away. Um, and you have 24 hours after you download it and pay for it to make edits to it. After 24 hours, it locks up and then you would have to um, 
pay for it again. But once you make the image yours, after you've made major changes and you save it, of course you can use it as many times as you want to. Um, well, I don't like any of these hamburgers really for, I mean, I'm not even using a hamburger. I don't know why I thought to use that in my demo, but it was the first thing that popped into my head. Okay, so that gives you an example of how you would find a stock image. Now back to the text. All right, so this is one I, I kind of go back to a lot. I really like this one. So I am going to change this to my brand color. And I'll say join my social, let's see, join today. Social media marketing made simple. And maybe that's the name of the course I'm launching. And I want um, to make that prominent everywhere on all my social channels if I'm if I'm launching. Um, so I would change my banner to to bring attention to that. And um, I can even do something clever, like if I go here where it said it's got icons and lines and charts and all that. Let's look at icons. And let's look and see if we can find. You know what, I'm gonna type in the search bar, play button. All right, so here's some buttons. Look, that one's even the right color. So I'll choose this, and if I, I'll put it there. Maybe I've changed the text to say click here or whatever, but guess what? Your image is not really, like that button is not really clickable, but on Facebook, this whole area is clickable. So if someone clicks there, it pops up another window where you've got a, descri a full description of what the course is about and a link where they're able to sign up. Let me download this as an image. Okay, so now this pops up, looks fine. So I'm gonna say export, and I'm gonna say demo. Facebook banner, save that to my desktop. Okay, now let's head on over to Facebook, shall we? So, well, look at this, look at this banner that I created. So this is for my Facebook web, um, ads webinar. And I was able with Canva, this is sort of my, my d um, default banner that I use, just the picture of me. And then I went back in and I added this button, I mean this arrow that is pointing at the button for free webinars. And I've got the date and then I made sure to put on there free, people like free. So um, so that's how I'm using the banner right now. And if I was going to change it, I would simply click right here where the um, camera is and I will upload a photo and there's our demo banner and I'll click choose and there it is. I challenge you to make a beautiful Facebook banner in your um, in Canva and if you already have a banner you really like why not look ahead and make some banners at least one or two banners that um, you can use in the upcoming months. Maybe you want to do something special for in the US uh, Memorial Day is coming up or Mother's Day or um, you know, high school graduations if it if it applies to your business. But start thinking of, of ways that you can use that space. Um, and another shortcut, let me show you real quick in Canva, is let's suppose you're designing your banner. We're going to go back to this. And let's say, you know, you're really happy with this and you always want to use like this picture and this button. 
um, but you think in the future you might just be the only thing you'll be changing is the text or whatever you click this duplicate button and then it turned it from one to two and so on and so forth so now I just duplicated this one two three four four times I could do it 400 times and it now I can go in here and quickly change this so maybe the next thing I want to say is you know, um, Thursday special or whatever. And so you can just go ahead and do that super quickly, download it, and they're right there for you. And you can change it out in literally two minutes. So let me see what you come up with. I'm looking forward to it. Have a great day. And again, this is Jennifer Laner with jenlaner.com.